Hey guys, I just want to share with you um, the unboxing of the iFi Nano um, a DAC that is um, MQA ready, which I've been interested in, in knowing uh, what the MQA format really sound like. And I saw this one um, on Amazon and it was a good price and I uh, just couldn't resist. Um, I'll put the link below for all the specs, but um, generally it has um, really good components from Texas Instruments, it has Bluetooth native and um, also uh, SPDIF um, for digital streaming. Uh, and also has the, like I said, the ability to uh, reproduce MQA files. Uh, these obviously paired with a um, software piece that will also reproduce or unfold, like they call the MQA files. Um, right now, what I'm gonna do is just gonna open the box and see what's inside. This plastic. Great. It out, and we'll see how this is. Okay, yeah, kind of cool box, some uh, silver logo right there and inside we can see um, the silica gel so it wouldn't get um, humid and the iFi uh, construction, let's see how does this work, it can, it's kind of cool. Um, pretty, pretty slick and pretty uh, solid looks like. Um, also has input pairing uh, with Bluetooth and you can change here different inputs looks like. One, two, and three, uh, which is uh, Bluetooth, the first one, USB uh, and, and SPDIF via coaxial from um, whatever uh, Blu-ray player. There are some CD players that have the ability to, um, or the output with SPDIF, which I like. Uh, mostly, if you want to use this as, as your day, as your DAC. Um, also, there has a filter here. I'll have to check what that is about. Um, but basically, um, this is it. Let's see, let's take this out. Very nice. And, okay, let's see what else is in the box. Thank you. We have paperwork about it um, how to connect it simple connection guide some other paperwork here with the specs little card also with some instructions okay I think that's for the registration and then we have two individual boxes here. One, I'm thinking is the cables. Uh -huh. We have a USB cable, probably 3.0, and your RCA cable branded uh, iFi 2. So, pretty cool. 
also we can see here how the uh, adapter for the regular um, for the regular uh, optical cable to um, like the headphone jack um, to 3.5 millimeters we have some uh, rubber um, feet or to support it and then in the next box box is branded too as we can see here in the next box we have The power adapter, which is important in case you're not going to connect it to a computer. I think if you connect it to a computer, you don't need these, but if you are using this with an external unit like a CD player, Blu ray, or any other thing, you should probably be using these. And it's cool that they include it because I've had other ones that don't include this thing. So, there it is for now. Um, this is the i5, um, I'm gonna go test it. Um, I'm using, gonna be using Audio Urbana for the unfolding, software unfolding of the MQA and uh, hopefully I'll make a video about it to see what's up with this. Thanks uh, for watching and catch you in the next one. Cheers.